This book is for anybody inside, outside Singapore who is concerned about the state of the real estate market. In fact, the main thesis of the book deals with what's happening in the next 10 to 15 years uh, with the aging population, with the aging and depreciating 99 year leases of our properties, both HDB as well as private properties, as well as what happens to um, the families when they start to plan for inheritance as the bulk of uh, our baby boomers will be moving on. So there would be some form of restructuring in terms of family finances and family um, housing arrangements. Now, I say that we should be preparing for a property upturn because I think that there's um, in the short term still a little bit of uh, oversupply in probably all property segments, um, office, industrial, retail and residential. Um, very specific niche segment, for example, retirement housing, I think that one we are very short of and in fact most developed nations are still very short of retirement housing. Right now, due to the short-term oversupply, which could probably persist for another two years, I think that it is a good time to show up cash and then we prepare for when um, some light in, at the end of the tunnel will start to happen, then uh, we deploy our cash into future investments. <laughs> okay, uh, for Checking out the light at the end of the tunnel, there are a few things that I am looking for. Population growth, solid employment growth, and real income growth that is uh, consistent across all income groups. Um, in the last two years, we did see average household income growing. However, I think that um, at the bottom end of the market, income has still been deteriorating. Uh, income growth probably came about because of a larger proportion of new Singaporeans and new residents as well as uh, a rising stock market that has um, been doing well for some of the people who are working in the multinationals.